Now, the first category is achievement in inclusive business. Let's start by seeing what the judges had to say, followed by the shortlisted organizations. To me, the category of achievement in inclusive business is really the culmination of these awards because it's about bringing the base of the pyramid into the formal economy and businesses serving them sustainably. I think the most exciting thing was the breadth of nominees that we saw this year. We saw entrants in microinsurance, in rural finance, in biomass cogeneration, all serving this vast, underserved, unserved population. Achievement in inclusive business. Cummins cogeneration. This Kenyan power producer works with communities in remote areas to procure biomass for generating electricity from farmers, providing tools, equipment and training. An alternative source of livelihood for the community, it consumes an invasive tree species considered a menace. A byproduct is biochar, sold back to the community to improve the soil or replace charcoal for cooking and heating. Echale Atucasa. Low-income families in Mexico have been helped to build more than 30,000 affordable and environmentally friendly homes and improve 150,000 more by this social housing company. Community members are trained with appropriate skills while architects supervise building. Homes are built from earth and other affordable natural materials using rented earth block production equipment. Financial workshops help householders repay the price. Microinsure. Microinsure launched seven mobile insurance products in Africa last year, paid for by telecom companies which increased their customer retention rates by providing free life, accident and hospital cash cover. Most of the 8.7 million customers were previously uninsured, earn benefits that reflect their mobile usage and receive a monthly text message telling them how much cover they now have. Novartis International. Healthy family programs in India, Indonesia, Kenya and Vietnam build sustainable capabilities for healthcare and address barriers to access for the base of the pyramid. Elements include distribution of affordable medicines, raising awareness of prevention and treatment, screening and supporting doctors, nurses and pharmacists. Continuing education for medical practitioners covers subjects such as respiratory illnesses, maternal and child care. Off-Grid Electric. This company provides off-grid solar energy systems to 40,000 households in Tanzania using the mobile phone industry's well-understood pay-as-you-go model. Customers pay a fixed daily rate affordable to more than 80% of households, plus a minimal installation fee and the option of top-up payments for extra services. Local entrepreneurs act as agents for sales, installation and servicing. Tribanco. Created by Grupo Martins, Latin America's largest wholesaler and distributor, Tribanco provides financial services to 33,000 clients, micro, small and medium-sized stores. Loans to finance stock and renovations such as lighting, displays and technology are complemented by training and other services to stimulate growth. Its branded credit card, issued to 5 million people, provides 675,000 low-income customers with access to credit. Union Pay. China's Bank Card Association created the Rural Bank Card Netted Utility to settle transactions and offer other services for 200 million people in rural areas, reducing the cost of deposits, withdrawals and transfers. Migrant workers can remit savings home, customers can access basic banking through mobile applications and ATMs, and banks can assess the risks of lending to borrowers with no credit history. And now I would like to invite one of the former judges of these awards uh, and an executive fellow of the Dysonberg School of Finance, Herman Mulder, to the stage to announce the winner. Herman. Thank you, John. 
this is the moment. The judges would like to highly commend the following nomination. A power producer which has created a truly local, sustainable and profitable business that benefits an entire rural community. Highly recommended, Cummins Co-Generation Kenya. But the winner of this category, in the words of the judges, is China's Bank Card Association has brought 200 million, ex 200 million people, excluded rural dwellers, into the banking system in a program that could be replicated in many other smaller countries. The winner is Union Pay China. Sorry. May I invite I'm very surprised to get this prize, um, but very glad to attend this meeting and learn from all of you. Um, we will do better in the future to support the rural areas in China um, from our financial uh, uh, bank uh, network of Union Pay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank, you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you to Herman and congratulations to Union Pay.